what is going on everyone so in today's video we're actually going to do something a little different and that is we're going to go mountain biking so we're actually going to go hit up a local trail next to me and do a little review about it so let's finish packing up this car and head down the road and let's go to arbor hills nature preserve in plano texas so let's unload this car and start this review all right so coming from the parking lot when you're looking towards the park you want to stay to your left and go on this main sidewalk you basically just keep following the curve to the left and just keep going straight as long as you can until you see a trail ahead, which is this first one on the left. Now, right before we start this trail, let's look at the map. So this is the map on the entire park. Now, if we zoom in to the bottom of the map, then you'll see that this is one giant continuous loop. And within this one continuous loop, it has nine section and it equals 2.3 miles. So coming up to the trail, they actually have a bike stand. We have a bunch of tools you can work on just in case you need to repair your bike anyway at all. There also is a bike pump if you realize your tire is low. All right, so now that we're back on the trail, right off the bat, you can see that the action starts right away. You already got a ledge down here. You got another ledge down right here, right into a berm, to another corner. And basically the first section of this whole trail it's probably the most fun and have the most action. And I honestly forgot how fun this trail is because here in Dallas, it's been pretty hot lately, but now it's finally cooling down. And so I can actually start enjoying these trails. Here we got another berm and another berm. And basically this whole trail is just a bunch of switchbacks with some climbs here and there. It's honestly just a ton of fun. Now this trail is a single track trail. So what that essentially means is that the trail is at least 36 inches wide that only one bike can come at a time. But we got some tricky features in this area and as you can see right here, we're going uphill with a bunch of tree roots. So you got to make sure that you're in the right gear at the right time or then you'll be most likely walking. Overall, this trail isn't that long like I said in the beginning of the video. It's only a 2.3 mile loop. So that being under a 5k, you can essentially do these loops as many times as you want until you get tired. But if you're a beginner, then the first go around might be pretty exhausting because it is an intermediate trail. And the reason why is if you look back at the trail map right here, it's just a lot of twists, turns, tree roots going up, tree roots going down. And again, it's about being in the right gear at the right time or else you're just gonna be crunching your gears, panicking. But luckily, since this trail is fairly short compared to most trails, then you can always come back to the section try it again and keep attacking these sections over and over to perfect the whole trail. So I actually do welcome beginners to come here. It may be a little bit difficult because of all the tree roots and rocks, but the best way to learn is just to hop into a trail and just ride. Of course, as a disclaimer, you go at your own skill level. So take your time. There's no need to be the best PR on Strava. Just do what you can do. And as time goes on, you'll get better and better. And I always find it helpful to bring a friend along that's a little bit better than me. And that's because we can push each other to go faster and faster. And once you get more comfortable, then you can join other groups that are faster than you and they can push you to get faster and get over some fears and gain more confidence. Because even though biking does require some skill, majority of it in my eyes is confidence because I feel like that confidence pushes you to be better and that's like with any aspect of your life. So honestly, keep attacking the trail over and over catch. because it's a lot of fun, except the last section of the trail. It's very anticlimactic. So this wraps up this first ever trail review on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other trails in the DFW area you want me to check out, or if you're a local and want to ride sometime, hit me up. And if you want to help out the mountain biking community, by either donating, volunteering, or become a member of the Dallas Off-Road Bicycle Association, also known as DORBA. They're actually the association that creates and maintains all these great trails. So if you ever see this logo on the trail, just know that you're gonna have a great time. I will be releasing a full uncut solo ride of this trail so you know exactly what to expect. And also a review on this entire park because I only scratched the surface. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And I'm also still making FJ content, so don't worry about that also.
Okay, enough rambling. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Oh, that part's too loud.